All right. Hello again, adventurers, and welcome to another exciting episode of Traversing the Veil. Uh, yes, this is one of my custom D&D games set in my weird, messed up custom D&D campaign setting. Uh, and the people b b b b below me uh, are the uh, p -p people that have just kind of given in to the Stockholm Syndrome at th 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 this point. Uh, so, a uh, quick uh, reminder announcement. Uh, Fizzband's Treasury of Dragons uh, released last week, I th th think. Yes, something Dragons! like that. Recently. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in uh, celebration of it, uh, I released uh, a uh, new subclass for, 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 for uh, my custom class, the G -G Dragon Knight. Mm. Uh, the new subclass is called the Ravager. You wear a, you wield a pair of massive, extendable dragon claw things, uh, and it's super fun and c -c cool. So uh, check all that stuff out. It's all on. Um, the DMs Guild. Uh, it's all pay what you want, so you can download both the base class and the additional s -s subclasses for free if you'd like, uh, or uh, if you want to send some money my way, you are more than w -w welcome to. Uh, a certain enemy NPC was donated, and we saw yeah. a little introduction to that. Or as I have to refer to, the Dragonite with a punchable face. <laughs> Uh, the, the person that was modeled after, uh, actually plays a Dragon Knight in a buddy's, uh, kick a campaign. And so, uh, yeah, it's fun. I, I'm super, super, super proud of the class. Um, since I've been doing the, uh, Final Fantasy 14 cross D and D class compendium and doing all the D and D deep dives, I've been seeing so many n -n 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 new classes and seeing what works and what it doesn't. And I wrote the Dragon Knight five years ago, I guess maybe almost six years ago n -n -n now. Yeah, um, like around the time you uh, started doing KLLs. Yeah, right right around the, the then when I was starting to get really into to making D&D cookie content. And the class itself, itself still holds up pretty well, despite the fact that I have learned tons in the past of five years about class design and, and how it's supposed to work the 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 class itself uh is pretty solid it it fits all the design philosophies for philosophies for philosophy for fees uh <laughs> that i've learned about for fifth edition class design like it's something i'm very proud of and i think if wizards were to allow it into the giga game uh it would it would make sense let's b b b put it that way there are some classes and subclasses and things like that that really only make sense in the homebrewed worlds of the people that write them and i think mine could become a core class at some point so yeah so anyway uh other than the, 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 uh, other than that I'm trying to think if there's anything else special going on uh, happy late Halloween! If uh, Yay! if you celebrate the, the that, uh, happy uh, Snowvember! Uh, if you live in oh, Ooh, Wisconsin, <laughs> uh, oh. we were lucky enough that this year we didn't get Snocktober uh, or uh, snowy September. We we've had snow as early as September and as late as like June. Oh in, God! Uh, in Wisconsin. We have we have five seasons in Wisconsin. We have almost winter, winter, still winter. I can't believe it's still winter and road construction. Uh, and, and they all happen within ten minutes of each other. It is so weird. We I'm not kidding here. We have had days where it has been like in the low thirties, and then by the late afternoon, it is in the high 60s low 70s like we just somebody plays with the thermostat of wisconsin f -f far too often um and yeah the f -f first year when we moved up here we moved seven days before my birthdays we drove up from phoenix arizona which is hot there uh in the blizzard uh in the uh in the middle of the sonoran desert 
we drove all the way up to Wisconsin and we hit a blizzard on our way up. And it, was a, it was the first time, and this was in March. Uh, it's the first time we'd ever seen s- s- snow. We were wearing winter clothes that we oh, bought God. in Arizona, which up in Wisconsin is like a spring jacket and those little cloth gloves oh, that do God. nothing but make it impossible to handle anything that is smooth. And it took us about an hour for us to realize that the magical snow was also very cold and very wet. Yeah. Uh, and we, we, were o- we were over snow in like a day. We're like, okay, cool. Can we go back to Arizona where there is <laughs> snow? So anyway, uh, you guys probably want to play like D&D or something, right? Yeah. What's D&D? What mean this D&D? Mm. I think it's time for us to return to traversing the veil. The party has finally returned from their trip to an unknown little land. They woke up on an an island, bereft of some of their memories and almost all their equipment. They discovered there was something sinister happening there and were able to locate something from their former captain's past, her crew, which she had been searching for since they had vanished one day. Before they were able to leave, a strange, eldritch creature captured one of their f- f- friends and dragged them off into an unknown land. And as they were preparing to l- l- leave, their captain, now former, decided to stay on the island to try and search for her former Kika captain and help her crewmates find a new way to live in this strange plane of air. When the party did finally return to the Skywell, they found it very different from where it had been before. It was now controlled by some strange quasi-military organization and the carefree, laid-back attitude had been replaced by order, uniform and anonymity, and purpose. Now the party's trying to discover exactly who's pulling the strings and what's going on. So, uh, quick refresher for, for, for me. You guys had gone to the, 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 the uh, uh, what's it Teamsters. Called? Yeah, Teamsters. There we go. You'd gone to the Teamsters Giga Guild, who had effectively said, hey, yeah, we can get your, uh, your refugees off here. Uh, it was and- like 16 gold. Yeah, it wasn't incredibly suspensive. And you also found out that despite the fact that they weren't working, they weren't particularly upset about it because they were being compensated very well for their inaction. I don't blame them, really. I'd be the same way. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that is a fair point. Hi. And, uh, when, uh, uh, when we left, I think you were all getting ready to head to the tannery which is yes. what they had yes whatever this clandestine group had purchased first and used as kind of a base of operations that being said uh we'll pick up right as you guys are leaving the uh teamsters guild so what would you all like to do Uh, let's see there. Oh, yeah, yeah, like uh, 
Katie had said, we, we already had the, because uh, I had that in the bookkeeping, the rations have already been taken care of, too. Okay. Have that. Uh, yeah, so I guess we're gonna go in looking for trouble. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, sounds, sounds like a normal Tuesday for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, all right, uh, I guess I'll lead the way. Mm. Okay. So getting to uh, the former t -t 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 tannery uh, is not particularly d -d 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 difficult. Again, because of kind of the order imposed here, while this place is significantly busier than the docks you were uh, at, um, it's actually remarkably simple to kind of weave through groups because most of the groups are walking uh, in lines or in very tightly knit g -g 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 groups, some of them actually in lockstep, some of them a little bit more casual. But it is uh, uh, it is very orderly, almost traffic pattern like, uh, with people very obviously yielding right of way at certain intersections and th things like that. It's it's almost a, 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 a bit eerie with just how orderly things are going. And so you're able to make it to the t -t tannery. Uh, within about to, to 10 minutes, uh, which with, on an average busy day like this, is really good, good, good time. As you get and what, there... And, oh, go, go ahead. And what time, uh, what time is it right now, like overall today? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I would know exactly, but not me personally. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, it's uh, uh, exactly uh, 2 uh, 17. Uh, no. So it's it's early afternoon and noon. Uh, so uh, as you guys could get there, you notice kind of the the environment changes very very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, as you cross one of the 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 the, the, the uh, hallways, I guess is the best way to describe it, uh, to get to the hallway that is almost kind of exclusively for the t -t tannery. Um, you are immediately uh, presented with a pair of guards standing there uh, with uh, each one has a, uh, a sword on uh, their hip uh, and a somewhat small buckler that is attached to, 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 to their arm uh, through a bracer kind of z z z setup uh, so that they have their other hand free but they can kind of bring up the buckler to, to, to uh, block and they're just kind of standing at attention and as uh, you get closer they kind of just position themselves to uh, give you the idea that this is not a location that you can just walk into um, and if you guys continue walking there they will eventually kind of close off and just block your way da -da 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 down the street still not saying anything they just kind of remaneuver do we get the feeling that uh, they're probably in leg with the uh, guards we saw before most definitely, they all they all have a very similar kind of dress. You wouldn't really call it a uniform, uh, but they wear kind of similar clothes. And the fact that they're wielding not just the same kind of sword, but identical swords and yeah. identical bubba bucklers, uh, means they have to be a part of some kind of Guga group, because you don't get identical weapons like that unless they are produced in bulk. Mm. Do we know for an absolute fact that this is the only place that? has guards or should I do like a perception check? Um, there, uh, obviously there were guards that showed up, uh, when you guys were, uh, in the dock office. Mm -hmm. um, and you have seen similar people that are wearing similar things as you've walked around. But this is really the first time you have seen guards that are actively guarding something. Hmm. Um, obviously... With the number of good guards you've seen, they have to be guarding something somewhere, but you guys haven't traveled the whole station, so. Mm -hmm. 
What should we do? They, sh they definitely aren't gonna last through just like that. Hmm. Cool. We could also, we're not going to know anything until we actually try to approach them and ask them uh, if we can pass to go to where we intended to go. Hmm. I hope so. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm, yeah, unfortunately, I have not had the best luck talking to people lately. Hmm. You mean the guy you shot your mouth off at while there were four, like, like four guys appeared behind you out of he nowhere? Made, he made my blood boil. Kind of his job, apparently. Ugh. I am just physically incapable of lying, so I'm not going to go up there. No, 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 no. We're not trying to lie. We're trying to talk business to the tannery. Well, we, we ain't got to be deceptive. Hmm. Looks like we have a volunteer. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't you friggin'. <laughs> All right. Fine. Like, even though I can... <laughs> I take one ceremonious step back. <laughs> yeah, great. The the bard decides to <laughs> set these set back. All right, well, good day, gents. And they fine, uh, fine morning to you. As you approach, they kind of look at you and nod, and then go back to just kind of staring for forward. Ah, they're far, British. They haven't, they haven't said anything to you. Ah, they're British. <laughs> Do I get the sense that they will allow us to pass or that we, they will block us off? Uh, they they did move when you came closer to kind of show that they were going to get, get, get in your way, but as of oh. right now, okay. they haven't done anything aggressive. They literally have just moved to be directly in your path. And there are two of them guarding uh, effectively a 10-foot wide hallway. So it's not like if you rushed them, you couldn't get Pippa passed. And they don't look like they, they they literally are just standing there and they have moved so that they would be physically in your personal path if you tried to get, get past. So there's no so there's no actual door behind them. It's just an open doorway. Yeah, uh, effectively on the inside of uh, uh, the Skywell uh, is just uh, uh, again it's it's very much like mm. a city. But instead of roads uh, between buildings, because it's all kind of built, uh, and you're basically inside a giant ship, it's just hallways and corridors. Um, oh. So they are standing uh, at a junction way of a corridor that you know leads to, to, to um, the tannery. Um, there are other uh, things uh, uh, as well b -b 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 uh, in that general direction, uh, but the largest... Uh, the largest shop in that uh, uh, area used to be the t -t tannery, and so this was kind of accepted as the road to the tannery. Yeah, so people there's really didn't like, go down that road for anything other than going to the t -t tannery. So there's like no civilians in this corridor. Uh, now that you can see, uh, looking looking past, like you guys are basically at uh, uh, a T intersection, uh, okay. and uh, the west path goes to the t -t tannery you can see people traveling uh down the corridor that you guys are in you can see them going everywhere else but no one is turning down this particular c -c corridor and there are two people that are just standing there in the middle of the c -c corridor mm. making it very clear that they're going to prevent people from going through or at least make it annoying to c -c go through mm. and it's your your if, if, if you've ever been on a military b -b base oh. uh, and have ever seen or any b b been anywhere where there are actual active guards uh, they all have the exact same thing they stand by a door or whatever they're guarding they look straight ahead and if you approach uh, they will prevent you from going through wherever the, the, they are guarding and generally it's it's a rather mundane thing of like a verbal warning up oh, sorry you can't come through here some of them will just physically move and kind of challenge you to, to, to do anything these are the latter they aren't verbally telling you you can't go anywhere they're just physically in your path it's our intent to go to the tannery may we pass what business do you have at the tannery 
Oh, oh. <laughs> I kind of wonder that myself. We're kind of, uh, I, I believe out of character we stated we're like, are we reply? Are we saying we're going to look for work? Yeah, yeah. We were looking for possible, like, like a possible side job, like to possibly work with the people who are now running this place, just to see if they have anything to offer at this time. To inquire about his about possible business opportunities that we may be afforded. We are not currently hiring. Oh, you're also hiring personnel as well, as well as this uh, lovely station here. Will we be able to inquire with anyone? We're not currently hiring, nor are we looking for freelance opportunities, anything of the sort. We have all the personnel that is currently required. Mm. Move along. Do we get the sense that they're telling the truth? Uh, you can make an insight to the check. Okay. Mm. Uh, dirty 20. Okay. Ooh. Uh, this is a rehearsed statement. Ooh. Uh, and what you get from body language and things like that is they are bored. They have probably said this many, many to the times. And there's very little inflection. It is it is almost as if they're reading from a cook a card. Mm. <laughs> Should we get the net in front? If we were perhaps to a chance inquire, if we were making inquiries, uh, where would we go? Surely you can inform what, us of that. What kind of information would you be uh, inquiring up about? If we were to perhaps pursue the discussion elsewhere at a later time. There is no discussion to be had. We are fully staffed. Well, surely there's someone we can talk to about such a thing. Not to say that you are not doing your due diligence as someone in your particular statement. I have been informed anyone inquiring about work is to be sent away. We do not hire. Not from this group. And who's we exactly? We are currently the owners of the tannery. We do not have an official business title. We simply acquire the businesses and use them as they are men and needed. We feel no need to label our sisters I don't know why, but some for some reason that last line is extra creepy. Yeah, I know. Like the situation isn't already. Yeah. Do we know how how long ago they they've been here? I forgot. I think you asked the, the, yes, the, the uh, uh, yeah the general store shop guy. Yes. Yeah. I think if I remember correctly, it was shortly. It was it wasn't too long after you guys left. Yeah, uh, like a week ish uh, okay. after you guys left, they she, she showed up and just started buying b b biz businesses left and right. Uh, yeah, which is incredibly quick. Yeah, which does kind of implicate the idea that they were they were throwing around vast amounts of gold to get people to sell the, the, that quickly. Yeah, what kind of what kind of organization can throw around so much gold to just buy up all the property these properties here like it's nothing? Uh, hmm. Smegwick is going to get is going to get the read. Uh, it, I'm sure the group isn't just going to stand here now. Or was their intent now? Ozarian oh, is uh, after they just stonewalled him. Is just already walking away. Uh. I'll walk like a hundred feet away and just wait for everyone. No. Uh, nearby, there's a little. I guess the, the 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 best term for it would be kind of like a food cart, 
kind of the thing with a few chairs and to the tables. Uh, this is a setup that if you wanted to go over and just kind of chill there, it would not be out of the the, the, the ordinary. I can't think yeah. of anything better to do. Okay. Mm, okay. Just you, uh, yeah. If you go over there, you smell uh, uh, the scent of uh, sweet baked goods. Uh, and uh, as you get, get, get closer, uh, you can see uh, a kind of lanky g -g 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 gentleman that almost seems like a spring as he moves around where he kind of just bounces he comes over hello would you like one of my scones oh i hate him already <laughs> uh you know what you know what cancer i person i can't speak for my, my for my compatriots here but i personally would be delighted to have one of your scones what is the price scones are two copper a piece you know what? Hold on just for a moment. Hey, does that, hey, do you all want some scones? We're right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, I already had a snack today. You guys go ahead. Sure, why not? <laughs> all right, I will. And uh, Spegwick, my friend, do, would you like a scone? I'll have just a cup of tea, thanks. So I'm see, presuming this guy is the guy. I'm sorry, is the guy offering tea as well, or is it just baked? Uh, he do, he does have uh, uh, what looks like uh, uh, beverages on his cookie cart as well, and okay, uh, a small kind of hot plate with with a, a kettle on it for hot pepper beverages. So uh, one uh, one chai, please. One chai and two scones, if you will. Wonderful. That will be a total of. Uh, Six, c c c no, five copper. I got this one, my treat. <laughs> oh, so he kind of bounces off and he goes uh, uh, into his little f f food cart. And as he opens it up, just huge plumes of steam comes out. And he comes out and he, he gives you your scones. And he gives you uh, this nice little c c cup of uh, spiced uh, 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 tea equivalent to the chai. How close is uh, this guy to where we just were? Uh, I get roughly about 150 feet away. You guys can still see the the the, uh, the hallway from, from where you are. When we go <laughs> over, I'm going to go over to the table to sit down and have my scone, but I'm also going to start uh, pulling out my violin. And I'm just, I'm not, I do my little like wrist movement thing here. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to start playing some music just to add a little ambiance, not any actual like, Music, music. If anything, okay. I'm just really playing it for myself as I just try to brainstorm. Okay. I want to ask. There. Go ahead. I wanted to ask the uh, guy who brought us the scones. Uh, so what's the deal with the tannery? Like, they won't let us in. We're just trying to inquire about some leather. They uh, they haven't been selling much leather lately. Ever since they were acquired, they they don't seem to sell much of anything, which is bizarre, if you think about it. I mean, how does this tannery operate if it's not selling things? It's very bizarre. Have you ever seen anyone, like, get permission by those guards to get through? Every so often, uh, there are people that go through... The guards themselves are, are, how can I put this delicately, they feel more important than they actually are. Yeah, we can definitely tell that much. Yes. Uh, they don't allow anyone past looking for work, but Unfortunately. if you have uh, some sort of offer of business for the tannery or... Uh, offering to sell your business to them, they generally allow those to pass. Though uh, those mm. uh, those offers have been becoming significantly less uh, common as they have purchased so much, and they they seem very content with the amount of of the station that they have per purchased. You know who bought them out? Who bought whom? Most of the businesses, no one will tell us a name. They just tell us they. Yes, they are. 
they seem to be a rather secretive group. Uh, they've never quite given a name. I, I did see a contract once. They tried uh, very haphazardly and, and weakly, I m -m 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 might sad, to uh, purchase my stand. And I said I wasn't interested in selling, and that was it. But I did get to glimpse a contract. And, um, well, as far as who would be retaining rights, there was, um, it was just the name of an individual, not the name of a business or anything like that. Did you happen to get their name? Uh, Percival something. Um, Rutgers. Percival Rutgers was the n -n name. Hmm. That Does name that ring a bell to any of anyone? us? Anyone? Not me. Could, could I possibly do a history check on that uh, name? Reggie and Aoi can both make okay. uh, a history check. Aoi, yours would be made with disadvantage. Okay. Just because it would have been something you might have heard. I I will, uh, just because I heard the name as well, give Aoi plus five with Flash of Genius. Okay. Okay. I got a 17. Okay. I also have 17. Okay. Between the, the <laughs> two of you, uh, Percival, the, the, the name itself doesn't mean a whole lot. Uh, it tends hmm. to, to, to be a name that's favored by the upper picker class because it sounds fancy. Yeah, but other than that, it doesn't mean anything. It, does, it doesn't have any uh, uh, lineage uh, 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 tied to, to, to it. Like, it's not a human name or an Eric Cochran name or anything like that. Just kind of a generic highfalutin sounding name. But Rutgers uh, is a family name uh, of uh, a... Uh, uh, a, a relatively wealthy uh, 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 family uh, f f from um, Bur uh, Burlapis. Uh, so uh, both of you would have been familiar with the f f family itself, but, 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 but uh, just the name that it is a, a noble f f f f family, not anyone. Uh, and uh, Reggie, I'll, I'll say from your background, you, you may have had interactions with the Rutgers at some point in time. You've never heard of a personal Rutgers. I just, I slow my playing for a moment and I turn to the rest of the party. All right, now, that name is a name I have heard before. The Rutgers family is a family name that is pretty well off, I might say. Almost yeah. kind of, almost kind of right up there with nobility, but it's actually kind of funny. I've never heard of a Percival Rudgers before. Ooh. Sounds like you're onto something. I definitely heard the last name before. Either there's I mean, a long, either there's a long lost family member, or someone's using the name that they sh when they shouldn't. Ooh. It'd just be a fake name with all the secrecy. Oh yeah, most likely. And. The, the family itself, the noble family itself, is large enough that none of you would know every single member of the Fifa family. Definitely. So it is a possibility some some distant cousin. Yeah, distant but cousin why you... or someone, like, trying to uh, pass off as one of the family. Hmm. If they're on so much money around, though, they don't necessarily have to, be, have to pretend. Yeah, true. And it's not exactly what they're doing here. It may seem a little sneaky, but it's not exactly illegal. So, why? So you are right. Why the secrecy? I'm saying that they were. I mean, I don't see the reason why necessarily right now. Why they would lie and give a false name? Yeah, precisely. Very, very odd. Certain members of nobility tend to fall out of favor with the family sometimes. Looks for Reggie after. The interaction we had last session, and he he just kind of gives a little smirk, like, "Yeah, I know precisely what you mean, and I'm not even gonna deny it." <laughs> uh, Reg, Reggie just kind of gives a little smirk and goes, "Like, yeah, but it's not exactly a common thing for someone to be cut off from the family and still have enough money to do all of." And he just kind of gestures with his violin, like at everything. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jody. Yep. With my with my background, would Zarian know of any organization? Uh, how can I word this? 
because with, with his archaeology background, would he know if this is something archaeological in uh, nature that they're doing or trying to do, or just for my general work, I guess? So, as an, an archaeologist, with how low paying those jobs to tend to be, one of the, the easiest ways to kind of gain fame and um, recognition, which will get you more work, uh, is uh, to, to, to uh, get hired by a large noble family or something like that. Uh, and in archaeological circles, it's kind of looked down upon because generally if a wealthy family is sponsoring an archaeological dig or something like that, what they're actually doing uh, is calling it an archaeological d -d 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 dig, but it's actually an attempt to mine or get some sort of wealth out of something. But by calling an archaeological d -d dig, they can kind of change it and they can get around some tax laws and th 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 things like that. Um, so, from your experience with uh, noble Fafa families in general, um, they they tend to be focused on acquiring wealth in any way possible, not so much in spending it. Anytime a a wealthy noble Fafa family, especially one like the Redgers that uh, have been generationally wealthy wouldn't just be throwing m m m money around. Any money they spend, they intend to get back. Um, does that answer your question at all? I'm, I'm trying to kind of phrase yeah, it yeah. the way you would understand, your character would, would, would understand. Yeah. Hmm. I quickly go back to the store owner. Mm -hmm. Um, I Excuse me, my fine sir. First off, thank you so much for the scones. They were delightful. Um, One quick question, though. Just out of pure curiosity, you say you were already approached um, with the uh, with the offer to sell your business to these fine opportunists here. Is there any possibility that they might return maybe with a different contract or is it just a one and done deal with them? Well, for some businesses, they really weren't willing to take no for an answer. So every time they were denied, they would leave, they would come back with a more generous contract. Um, for my business, they seemed to not care. So they hmm. made one offer, I said no, they never came back. Uh, how long ago was it when they first approached you? Oh, uh, shortly after they got here. So it's it's been well over a month now. A month. Are there still any other fine establishments here that they have yet to acquire, or are you the only one left? As far as here, do you mean the Skywell itself or this particular area? Uh, let's start with this particular area here. Well, as far as this particular area, most of the food carts and, and more mobile style businesses uh, stayed independent. They were not. They did not offer very good terms. For our, uh, for us effectively shattering our businesses and giving them to them, so um, yes, most of uh, most of the mobile businesses are still privately owned. Most of the larger businesses in this quarter of the uh, 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 the station are owned by them. The further away from the tattery you get, the less. Uh, the less businesses are owned by them. I would say they probably own maybe about a third, maybe closer to 40% of the businesses on on the Skywell Cooker currently, most of them in here. But they do, they do own the docks now. And, and there are quite a few guilds that they have agreements with where they don't own the guilds, but the guilds don't really interfere. The Teamsters Guild is, is one of them, where they, they simply don't... They don't own the Teamsters Giga Guild, because they can't. The Teamsters Guild has, you know, guild halls in various different cities and stations, but uh, the Teamsters... They have an agreement. They have an agreement where they yes. don't interfere with each other. 
I would you say wouldn't okay. happen to, you wouldn't happen to know the names you wouldn't happen to know the names of the other girls that were uh, possessed by them, would you? Um as far as other guilds that have agreements, well, um, uh, the local security force is not owned by the, the, them, but has an agreement to effectively stay out of the areas that they control. They they mm -hmm. they provide their own security. Um, let's see what else. The Merchants Guild, uh, there there were rather weak bylaws, to be p perfectly honest, but there were bylaws about you know how much of a uh, how many businesses a single entity could own and things like that. They were written up long ago when the Skyware was first being, uh, you know, put together and everything to kind of avoid uh, the issues that uh, crept up in, um, uh, in Voxus Landing. Uh, and... Uh, the uh, the Merchants Guild was one of the the groups that kind of enforced that and ensured competition and th th things like that. And they've uh, they've been assured that uh, the lack of competition here would not be damaging. So they've been not really interacting with th them. By any chance, if I pulled out a map of Skywell, could you show me? a rough estimate of the businesses they're buying out, just so I get a gauge of the area. Certainly. I will just procure them. I'm sure I have a Skywell yeah. map. I'm sure you have seven. Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, looking over, you basically see uh, uh, the Skywell itself is a roughly circular-ish station. Uh, and the north... Uh, if you're, you're looking at the map, the northwest quadrant is almost entirely owned by this good group. Uh, and then uh, the northeast and southwest quadrants have uh, about half of them uh, uh, owned, including any docks in them. And then the southeast Kuka quadrant has the least number of the businesses owned that are there. Uh, and you guys entered the dock in the southeast Kuka quadrant, which is owned by them. but. Really, the dock uh, and like one or two other local businesses in that Cooker Quadrant are the only ones that, that, that they own there. Do you happen to know their first business they purchased was? Uh, it was the Tannery. That's where they mm. started. Yeah. To be honest, uh, uh, the former Tanners uh, left rather a hurry, to be mm -hmm. perfectly honest. They got their money and then they were they were off on the next ship the same day actually it was, mm. it was a bit of a scandal yeah. uh, they were kind of a cornerstone of uh, uh, the community here and then they just off and left it's rather sad do you hear any strange noises around the the tannery like uh lots of digging sound of metal hitting rock of the like really? I will admit, uh, it has been nicer since they came here. The uh, tannery itself is a rather, let's call it, fragrant business. Uh, and since they took over, um, it, it has been much more pleasant smelling. Uh, which, for a uh, career in the culinary arts, is a benefit. Mm. Uh, mm, your, first, uh, your first bite may be with the eyes, but the second one is with the nose. Completely understandable, my good sir. Mm -hmm. uh, does anyone have any other little questions we might ask our fine friend here? No. Oh, you've been a great help. Well, Thank you very much. To be perfectly honest, they don't tend to buy scones much, so I haven't had a ton of business recently. I've been thinking yep. of moving my, my cart to a different area This is a city, but... As soon as I start packing up things, they just show up and, and buy out my day's worth of scarings. It's it's rather bizarre. <coughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Could you please repeat that again, sir? They do what? what? Yes, if I start packing up to go to a different place. It's one of the nice things about, you know, uh, having a, a food cart as opposed to an, an actual business is if business isn't very good, I can just move to another part of the city. And, and all the, the tables and chairs you see here... Um, I'm rather proud of this watch. 
Uh, if uh, he goes over to Aoi, if, if I could have you yeah? just stand up for a moment, thank you very much. Okay. And I go one, two, three, and uh, he kind of waves a wand, and you watch as the uh, chair that you were sitting on shoot shrinks Whoa. into this tiny little thing. I can That's put, so cool. I can put the entire thing into this little box and then set it up wherever I want it. And then one, two, three, and shoot, it grows back to normal size. Swan is a wonder. I love it. It's such a great is, little thing. Is that a variation on the collapsible boat? Ah, uh, similar. Uh, it's uh, collapsible boat has a little more mechanics in it, uh, where it's it's kind of a combination of technology and magic. This is primarily magic. It's an enchantment on the wand yeah. and the specific pieces of furniture. Simpler design and construction, obviously. Yes, but it's it's rather useful. Hmm. And, uh, well, good sir. Let me just say, you have been a delight, and you have been a wonderful help. I take him by the hand, and as I as I shake his hand, I slip him one gold. Mm. And uh, without reacting whatsoever, he takes it, and you watch him. Uh, uh, you actually uh, watch him. Go ahead and make me a perception check, real quick. All right. I got a I got a dirty twenty. Okay. You would be kind of familiar with sleight of hand, so you kind of notice as he brings it away, you see uh, the, 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 uh, the sleight of hand, and then the coin is no longer there. I give him a little smirk, and I do like the little flick of the nose before I turn away to, from him. Mm -hmm. uh, to a casual observer, they never would have seen the, 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 the coin itself. Using, uh, he just, he palmed it, and then uh, did a slight misdirection, and then it, it, it was good, good gone. Well, I say we find somewhere quiet. Uh, my first thought is maybe it might be wise for us to seek out an establishment that they have yet an establishment that they have yet to acquire. Mm. They seem to start here and they're branching out. Yes, now using using my map, Jody. Can I? try and like mathematics this out to know what I would assume would be their next purchase if they would make one for a business based on the I would I would say that wouldn't be a math thing as much as it would be uh, an economics kind of business thing and your particular character does not have that kind of background okay. to be able to uh, infer than that would I any of the rest of us what? Um, not really. None of you have like uh, uh, a merchant b b b b oh, background okay. or anything yeah. to, 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 to to deal with economics. The closest, okay. like Reggie, because of your relationship with the aristocracy and because economics was a a talking point, you would be the closest person. But being able to calculate which business would be purchased next would still be this is something outside of your training. How about this? How about we go to the closest one in the oh. north, the closest one from where we are that hasn't been purchased? Okay. So we just got to start from the tannery and then just start walking away from the tannery. Yeah. Use my map and kind of try and pick out one that hasn't uh, the, been purchased. The, uh, the first business that you find uh, basically outside of the, 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 the owned zone uh, is uh, it, it looks like a t -t tobacco and incense shop. Yeah. So, given what we've been through recently and how weirdly close they are to where we were, maybe I'm just trying to make connections where they aren't there, but I just can't help but think that they're going down. Why buy all this land and not use it if you're not doing something under the veil? Oh, well, they're clearly doing something. That's not the question. Mm. I, just don't want this to be I just don't want this to be another repeat of wherever that place we just were. Uh, like. Don't remind us. Who wants to talk to this, well, not my cup of tea establishment? 
see if they were inquired about and turned it down or if they haven't been. And I guess I'll go in. Uh, the uh, uh, place that you're going to is uh, another like 10 minute walk away because you guys are kind of in the center yep. of uh, the area. Um, again, uh, when you're uh, a few minutes away, you no longer need to rely on your map to figure out where it is. You can smell it. Uh, really quick, would I know? Oh, I think, of course, I know. How long do we have left on our dock rental time uh if i remember correctly you guys paid for six hours was it mm, yeah how long has it been uh it's only been uh i'd say about two and a half hours at, the, at this point so it's it's mm. not been very long you guys still have the majority of your time left okay all right great to this god's awful smelling place <sighs> as you guys get closer uh, you smell this kind of skunky smell with spices in it. As you get closer, it gets more, more and more p -p 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 powerful. And as you, uh, hi, Alice, thank you. As you, uh, as you go, 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 go into the store itself, uh, when you open the door, you are just hit with this wave of smoke. You go in the room itself is hazy. It's got wind chimes in just random places. They don't really make sense. Like normally, like maybe you might have a wind chime at the door so that when you come in, it rings. No, these are just random wind chimes that hang in the middle of the room or maybe in a corner somewhere. They're at varying heights. They don't make a ton of sense. Along every wall are jars filled with various herbs and spice mixtures that you can burn. You can see sticks of incense everywhere uh and you can see like six or seven different incense burners at the b -b back of the store that are all burning different incense none of which smells that great on its own and the mixture is very quickly making you a little bit lightheaded uh, we're not all there are we uh it d depends on how many of you want to g -g go in uh, like, yeah. I said, I figured, like uh, Owie's staying outside. She knows okay. her. Eh, her knows wouldn't be able to handle this. No way. Okay. Smeg will go in because he's want to get. If, if we're looking for trouble, he's going to look for information. Okay. Even if just listening. Uh, I would say Zarian anyone. Is, okay, go ahead. Oh, Zarian is going in, but suddenly wishing he was born in Air Genasi. Uh, anyone with magical training, which I believe everyone here has magical training. Yeah. Uh, would recognize none of these incense are magical grade incense, meaning they could be used as spell components. These are entirely uh, therapeutic incense. So as you come in, you can see in the aromatherapy. Back, uh, yeah. Effectively, aromatherapy, mood setting kind of th 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 things. Um, you can't summon Jack with patchouli. Yeah. Yeah. There's some yeah. there's some like druid groups uh, and a few uh, nature worshiping clerics that claim that burning certain herbs uh, and things like that have uh, mystical properties as opposed to magical p p p properties. Um, they tend to uh, they, they they tend to be excluded uh, from most Guga groups. Uh, <laughs> So, it's like that would be uh, in a tobacco shop. Uh, as you look in the back, uh, where you can see what looks like it might be a counter, there are so many different things piled on it. Not just like uh, uh, herbs and the, the things like that, but there are like blankets and, and cloths and the, 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 the things on it. It's very unkempt. You can see there are piles of like rags and 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 clo uh, cloths on the floor in the various places, um, and there is just like a a human sized p -p pile of rags behind the, 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 the this uh, the, the desk uh, that just has a little bit of smoke creeping out of one of the. Uh. Hey, Allie. Yeah. What is your favorite smell? <sighs> Uh, I 
Definitely not this, though. I'll make a guess, and I will uh, have Gerald approach her and hand her a small little firefight trinket that I always have. Mm-hmm. Just hold that to your nose. <laughs> it essentially just smells like freshly baked cinnamon rolls. Thank you. Oh, ho, ho. So you cinnamon roll for the cinnamon roll. So you yeah. effectively have kind of a smelling salt kind of the, the thing. So yeah. as you bring it close, it, it smells... Th- the scent itself is very, very strong. But because it is a magical scent, I'm assuming prestidigitation? Uh, it's one of my magical tinkering. Oh, yeah. Uh, because it is a magically induced scent, uh, there's no physical aspect to, to it. So as you smell it in, you don't feel like it, you know, if you smell markers or something, you kind of get that rush. This doesn't have that. It is just a, a pleasant scent. Thank you so much. So as you guys could come in, uh, one of you almost trips over one of these piles of clothes. As you can see, it moves a little bit and goes, and you notice there's someone just kind of sitting on this pile of clothes, uh, cloths and rags and things like that, kind of like a beanbag chair. Dave's not here, man. Dave's not here, man. Uh... And as you get close to it, you see the large pile of rags behind kind of shift and move and some of it falls away and you can see a very kind of sooty almost complexion. There's lots of dirt and, and something else on this face. You're not sure what uh, the particular color of their skin would be without this. Uh, but with all the different things kind of caked onto it, it has this kind of bizarre kind of orangish green, almost copper, uh, oxidized copper look to, 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 to it. Uh, the features uh, the, the, themselves are vaguely humanoid. Um, and he kind of gets up, hey, <laughs> how are you? Is this your place? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's By any chance. Great, right? Yeah, it's wonderful. Spigwick's uh, eyes are watering. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh. Going I'm... too f- f- fast, man. You think this is fast? <laughs> Gotta make the morning last. I'm skipping along the cobblestone. Smegwig not so subtly, Taking just with like this guy's. <laughs> this guy's using something else stronger than incense. Oh, I'd love to know what he's smoking. Okay, I don't know if this is going to get through. Were you approached by a by someone with the name of Rudgers to buy your establishment? Sorry, your place. Wow. That is a good question. You, my f- friend, are a master questioner. Yeah. Smegwick pats Darian on the side, like goes, "Good luck." <laughs> just like, just leans back. As far as questions go, that I get asked, and I get asked a lot. That is one of the best. It is simple. It's direct, but it's not r- really rude. Just ten points for an awesome question, man. <laughs> when he says that, I, I have Gerald just hit a button on a small square device with a, what looks like a speaker on it, and just set it on the counter. A gift. So anytime he touches it, it's going to say 10 points for an awesome question. And he goes and he touches it and goes, 10 points for an awesome question, man. 
goes, that is amazing. Do you know how much energy I waste telling people how good their questions are? This will make my life so much easier. I, I want to thank you so you, he reaches into some of the folds of his robe and he brings out this small it, it looks like a small precious stone check this out man just center of the tongue and breathe man it's amazing you Love it. Sit back and kiss the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Be sure and uh, wait till I'm back on my boat for this one. And I'll just put it in a container that, or uh, like a vial that's by itself. As you, as you pick it up, it has kind of a sticky consistency. You think it's probably sugar-based, kind of like sugar glass or something similar to that, maybe hard candy. Oh God! He just gave us crystal meth. No, no. <laughs> no, he gave you. He gave you brown acid. <laughs> okay. Now, see the 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 thing itself. It's it's about the size of maybe like a like a Werther's original kind of th th thing. Uh, but it looks. Uh, it, it again. It looks like a precious stone. So it's clear. It's the, this one in particular is red and translucent. Like, 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 like a, a jolly candy. rancher. Like rock candy. Kind of. Yeah, very similar to rock candy. Though uh, it, it looks like it's been actually cut like a precious stone wood. So it has multiple facets and stuff. So it's, it's attractive to look at and obviously made of sugar and other th th things. So anything else I can do for you? I don't think we're getting anywhere with this. I uh, know. Oh, your question. Yeah, nobody, nobody tried to buy me. I that is someone... such a shame. Not really. I, I don't want to sell. <laughs> I like it here. It's very late. Well, it was late. It's not anymore. It kind of sucks, man. <laughs> like, used to be just fine and dandy. I got no deeds to do. No promises to keep. I'm dappled and drowsy and ready to sleep. Let the morning time drop all its petals on me. Life, I love you. All is groovy. But now, everybody's got places to go. And they got places to be. As my duty I actually went to talk to these people, try and get them to relax. They are a bunch of squares. Met this guy. Starts with a P. First of all? P knuckle. No. Poisonable. Pachuzzi. No, no, that was breakfast. Percival. That sounds about right. <laughs> Dude was just so uptight, always looking at his map, like even when I was talking to him. She's looking uh at the map. So you've actually seen this Percival? Well, yeah. He's not invisible. My friend Doug, he's invisible. 
Nobody <laughs> sees me. Uh. Oh, God. I'm going to try to subtly cast the invisibility without him knowing. Uh, maybe this is a sleight of hand check with advantage. Oh, God. You're relatively what? certain you could do it without being subtle, and he might not notice it any way, but... Uh, that well, turned a 10 into a 23. Yeah, as you cast the invisibility... One thing you notice, the invisibility does not help you see through clouds of smoke yeah uh but you don't detect any any invisible of a presence within your f field of view mm. uh, out of curiosity my good friend if you could would you be able to describe to us what this mr percival looked like well yeah i could but i mean he's right down there in the tannery, if you want to yeah. see him. Now, unfortunate, unfortunately, we are not exactly welcome over there. But perhaps if he were to be out and about, we would know who to look for. Oh, Pesnuckle never leaves the, the, the tannery. Yeah, he's got he's got a little setup in there. They took one of the rooms, turned it into a little bedroom for him, so he never leaves. He just he goes to bed, he comes back out, he looks at his damn map. He draws on it every so often. He uses this nifty thing. It's like it's like a triangle. I'll pull out my compass like this. You got a triangle too. Uh, That's awesome, man. Can yours dance like his does? Given the right circumstance, sure. That's really cool. He does these little dance parties on his little map. Where the compass will start a dancing, and then he takes a pencil and it dances too. And pretty soon he's drawn some really cool shapes. I actually, I offered to color some of them in for him. <laughs> just to add some color to it, make it more appealing. And he said no. He likes the black and white look. If, would you be able to describe to us what these shapes look like if we showed you a map? I don't think so. His map was, was weird. It was like, I got a map right here. And he points to the wall and you wouldn't have noticed it if he hadn't pointed it to you. But there is a framed map on the wall. You can't see much of it because there is so much stuff that has kind of stuck to the frame. But when you get close enough, you look through the grime. You can see, yeah, it's, it's a map of the the um, uh, the sovereignty. Oh, that was me by accident. Sorry. The wrong thing. Uh, it was a map of the this, this sovereignty. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he goes, I mean, I got a map. But his map was so weird, it like, it didn't have most of the sovereignty. I mean, who wants a map like that? What do you use it for? I mean, even the Skywell, it was way up in the little corner here. The rest of the map, I did, they, they didn't have Ebia. They didn't have Vox's Landing. They didn't have Spheros. They didn't have Zuros. They didn't have Lofatil. They didn't have Exilos. They didn't well, have Imperius. They didn't have Lorlapis. I, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop you right there, good sir, if you will indulge us for just a moment, and I turn right back to the crew. To the crew. Okay, so it seems that our friend Percival has a map of either 
a, com- no of a, of a, a shifted down map of the sovereignty? Um, or this guy thinks he can move Skywell? I'm going to uh, pull out uh, like an isometric view of something I've done. Mm-hmm. Did the map kind of look like this? Like essentially pull out a map where it looks like a lighthouse on top and then you see underground. Nah, man. It was, uh, I mean, it was a regular map. It's just, it was missing so much. Like it didn't have Soul Watch Tower. It didn't have Cyclocali Station. It didn't Ooh. have Cane Alone. It didn't have the Lens Tower. Every it time this guy speaks, I'm switching over to Carol. SpongeBob Square, SpongeBob <laughs> Square Pants. Three hours later. later. <laughs> Three hours later. Mm-hmm. Do you have a map of the aisles that disappear below the veil? You mean like the fading aisles? Mm-hmm. I don't. Could that be what he's? So. I think it was. I don't know. It was a weird map. You probably have to look at the map yourself. I think I need to see this map. I... Yeah. You probably do. You know what Which... you could do? You could go talk to Parsnip. Well, they won't let us in. We tried. Really? That's super weird. Like, most people don't let me in anywhere. But they let me in real easy. I just came up. I said, hey, I think I can help you. And uh, they said, no, we're not looking for work. I said, I'm not here to work for you. I am here to give you something amazing. Mm. And they said something about, I don't know, are you selling? And I'm like, hey, everybody's got to make a buck. And then they're like, okay, go and see Penobscot. Maybe. So... So we can't offer services, but we can possibly offer something that they can actually practically use. You have a bunch of maps, and if they're focused on cartography, I might be able to get in, but it doesn't really help. We do also, if it gets our foot in the door, I have an idea of where we could try selling them, but if they're willing to buy, we could also pitch them. We found a bunch of books in a secluded <gasps> island. Yes, we did. Uh, this is Ev- this is Evan talking, not Reggie. Quick question, because I'm, I because again, I do apologize that I was not there for the final episode of that of the previous arc. Uh-huh. The uh, the island that we were all trapped on that was sucking away everyone's memories is that island still there? Yes. Yes. Uh, there's still people living on the island. And so is the passageway that goes to under the veil? Yes. The the whole island is, still exists. It is, it's in the s- southern outlands, and it's far enough out the, 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 that uh, it is it has effectively remained undiscovered. Uh, because uh, the southern outlands are not uh, inhabited, and so the further out into the southern outlands uh, you go the more likelihood that you will run out of supplies before you can find mm. a place to resup a supply. That's one of the reasons the Skywell is here. The Skywell is kind of your last r- 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 resupply area before going into the Southern Outlands. And so anyone okay. who stops here, stocks up some goods, goes out, and hopefully has enough to come back. Because thus far, nothing has really been found in the Southern Outlands. Well, we've been in the general consensus has been that we don't want to give up the island's location. Yeah. Okay, thank you for saying that because yeah. my idea was let's offer that we have knowledge that there's a way under the veil to these people. Mm. I, I have a map of the village, but not the location of it on a bigger map. 
there's you, that. You, uh, because of your cartography of a background, um, in in order for you to get back to the sky well, uh, you did you did find a map that showed precisely where it was, and you would have made your own map so that you could get back yeah. whenever you could. So you you do physically have a map that shows you uh, uh, where it is. That's the only way you could have made it back to the Sissa sky well. You guys found that in the underground uh, beneath the well. I really don't want to give that up because if this is what they're after. I just don't want to walk it on, walk it to them on a silver platter. Well, they might not be after that because again, you're working the presumption that that's, that they're looking for that kind of island. They're they're off, they're off doing their own thing here, right, Jody? They don't seem to be having a lot of their ships don't seem to be coming and going, right? Uh, n no, their 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 ships are mostly docked, and they they have yeah. a flotilla uh, uh to the uh, northwest. That, my understanding think, was that it was they, they were just basically on standby. As far as you can t t tell, yes. I mean, I get what you're saying, but I hear it. I, I need to see that map, but I got to figure out how to get in there. Well, I was saying we had the books that could be a, you know, that could be our way in. Do, if it's that big a deal, I can take you over there. Hmm. You know, oh. Pensatucky and I are like that. I mean, you know if you're offering. Yeah, man, it's been a slow day. Doug can watch his store for me. Okay, I I kind of commit to memory the general direction where he pointed. <laughs> you would you would notice that the first time he pointed at Doug was a completely different location to where he pointed this to. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I'll just take his finger and point over there. He's actually over there. Damn. Sorry, Doug. I do that all the time. It's rough when you can't see him. I can see him right now. He's amazing. And I'll point to my eyes that are just glowing. I had an herb once <laughs> that could make your brain glow. Like you couldn't see it, but you just knew it was glowing. You could taste the purple. Yeah. Oh, well, let's go see this parsnip. Sure. Who's parsnip? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Poxitani. Can Zarian's IQ permanently lower? No, just <laughs> Oh! Do you mean... Pinocchio? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He's a great let's go. guy. Let's go see Prosciutto. Yeah, sounds about right. And he gets up, and you watch... You're not quite sure where his limbs are in this... Uh, pile of rags, but the whole pile of rags kind of shudders and starts moving, and a cloud of smoke f -f follows it. Did this dude give his name? I may have missed uh, it. You haven't asked. I'm afraid. What does everyone call you here, pal? He's like, Smeg was like. Oh, they call me. So much of that cut out, I did not hear any. I heard Z, and then that's it. It's Z, just <laughs> like Z, like Z, 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 Z. It's just Z. Oh God! Somehow that's better than what I was thinking. So that's good. <laughs> so he walks out, and it takes you guys a good thirty minutes to get back. Not because there's any traffic or anything. He's just very confident in his giga gate. <laughs> it's that get... goddamn escort quest where, like, you just go ahead and you have to wait for, like, the NPCs to, like, slowly catch up <laughs> before you can move ahead of her again. And then it randomly turns into, like, seven mobs. <gasps> you finally giga giga get there and you see both the guards grimace. As they get close, you watch as their eyes start to water. 
Hey guys! <laughs> it's so good to see you again! And he moves forward, and the pile of rags embraces one of them. <laughs> Out of curiosity, how tall is this guy? Uh, he's about like 5'2 ish, the pile of rags is. So it's not, not a, a very imposing looking for a figure for some reason i was just imagining him as like as tall as chewbacca just nope. just a kind of okay. a, a short little pile of rags oh, okay. you guys have seen, it, he has a face underneath there um but uh but, but beyond that you're not quite sure you every so often you'll see things that look like limbs but there's just so many cloths and other things hanging from it you can't really tell Oh my god. Do you think this is a shit What so happens you see when you cast a rake in on a pot plant? One of them go, uh, the one that talked to you, Z, we've told you, don't hug us. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Scent is sexy. I'm so sorry. I... That is my fault. I apologize for, for overstepping your boundaries. That is not a cool thing to do, man. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna write this down. Cause it's <laughs> not fair to you guys that I did this. All right, and I'm super sorry. Hey, let me make it up to you. And he reaches in and he takes out a green-ish stone. This is for you. You put this on your tongue. Ugh. Oh no. You breathe. And the whole world around you smells like mint. <laughs> it's the coolest thing ever. It's great for before a date. And I know... You probably rock the dance floor. Am I right? Do you like to dance? What do you want, Z? Oh, I just... I got some friends here that have some primo stuff that I think poop -a doodle would really like. And the other one just kind of looks at him. You can see just tears streaming down his face. I'm 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 in the back of the group, and I'm just mouthing "I'm sorry" to the guards. Yeah, yeah guards how are you doing this evening? Just I'm, I'm not. Him I'm not. Gamma. Thanks, guys, and I'll remember. I'm writing it down, and you see, you don't know where this came from, but he takes out a uh, a pencil and a pad of paper, and he writes down. Don't hug. I just kind of look and over at Smegwig like... Stops. And he looks up. I don't know your name. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. He writes that <laughs> right. I'll remember the, the, that. <laughs> okay. No more hugging. Just a firm handshake. I got it. Have fun, Festubal. And he goes on. I'll through. try to follow. Oh yeah, we're following. They they let you through. Thank you, Zay. I'm much obliged. As you get to the, the, the tannery itself, you can see another two good guards. They see him coming, and they both give a very wide berth. Not even an argument. No argument mm -hmm. at all. The door opens. Let's whisper back towards the others. Can we keep him? Feels like a great tool to getting in places. You will be nose blind within a week. No, thank you. As he w w w walks in, uh, the first thing uh, you guys notice, despite the effervescence of your n -n 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 new friend is how clean the room smells when you walk into it. Uh, mm, it mm, is bleach. incredibly g -g 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 clean and dry, and even the scent uh, uh, of 
uh, Z uh, is kind of muffled in this room. As you look around, <sighs> most of you have been in uh, uh, in a tannery or at least know kind of what it is. Normally you have like big basins for curing and then racks and th 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 things like that. There's nothing. It is big, open, empty area with a massive table in the middle of it covered in pipa papers and a uh, single uh, a uh, single uh, warforged g g gentleman pacing Ooh. around. Would you say it's clean or would you say it's sterile? Sterile would be a much b b b better uh, term. Do I, so, do I see anything with seeing visibility since it's still up? Uh, nothing. Okay. okay. You see oh. uh, the w w w Warge Forged uh, kind of look up and go, Z, you're mm. back. Yes. And you have friends. Lovely. What do you have th th this time? Hey, man. It is so good to see you, Percy. I got new friends here, and they are amazing. This one over here, he points to Smegwick. That is Loodles. He is... Never even introduced myself. By far <laughs> the most talented dice roller I've ever seen. <laughs> and then this one, he points roll one. at uh, Owie. This is Princess. She is the ruler of an entire colony. Owie, yeah, bless his heart. Smegwick stands behind Z and he does a minor illusion of just a caterpillar on a hookah. <laughs> just like, just letting him know this like... Of an entire he's... colony of blink pog puppies. It's amazing! <laughs> and then I this how he visualizes an entire colony of blink dog puppies. Ah, this guy, okay. he points at Reggie. This guy, with a single touch of your hand, he can tell you what color underwear you're wearing. I have never seen anything like it. His, his name is, uh, I don't think I got your name, friend. I just call him Undies. He just, Reggie, Reggie just kind of smirks and nods like all all of that is true. And he goes to Zeri, and this guy, do you know what this guy can do? He is the best map maker in the entire Elemental Kingdoms. His name is Zarian. It's amazing. Cause it's it's his name, right? And yeah, actually... Zarian is like we're two peas in the same pumpkin. <laughs> and I just thought, because you like dancing <clears throat> triangles so much, he's got a dancing triangle. And you guys would get along. And you see Percival kind of look a little bit. Z, this is this is great. Thank you so much for bringing your f -f friends in. Um, if you'd like, if you go down the street a little a little bit to our storehouse, they'll give you a present. Oh, <laughs> that's just too nice. Thank you so much. And he starts to leave. And you watch Percival. This entire time, Percival has been looking at his map and making notes and things like that. As soon as he tells him to leave, he watches him walk out the door, closes it. And uh, then you watch him tap on uh, a thing uh, on his shoulder. Clean up. And oh, crap. 
you watch as uh, a single person comes in hey. and starts casting prestidigitation oh. everywhere. Uh. Oh, 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 an actual cleanup. <laughs> and the, the, the overwhelming scent f -f 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 that Z left has gone. Oh. And Percival kind of turns to you. Did he get a single one of your names remotely c -c -c correct? Point to Zarian. Yeah, exactly point to Zarian. on with mine, really. Even it's the impressive. math thing. Every so often, he'll actually hear something. We haven't f -f figured out what triggers it yet. But he's sometimes useful. It's the strangest thing. Yeah, now, it's weird. Why are you here? All right. Uh, go ahead. I, I'll step forward. Uh, first off, we do apologize for the apparent mess that led us here, as good-natured as he is. Uh, my name is Reginald Masterson Aberdeen Myers III, and these are my compatriot ship crew mates here. Um, we sought a berth on this island, and we were made aware that you are the man in charge. Now, I, not for one... I'm not... He cut you off. I'm not in charge of... Uh, uh, I'm not in charge of the Skywell. I'm not in charge of anything. I simply own the tannery. If you're, oh. if you're here to offer services or something, we don't need them. I am fully staffed. It's perfectly fine. If we have need of you, we will find you. If there's nothing else, you can go, go, go ahead and leave. And he goes back to his map. I try and peek at his map when he's uh, when he's explaining that. Uh, yeah, as you attempt to, uh, you notice uh, your eyes can't focus on the map. Like as you as you look at it, it's blurry. I uh, can I one of us like try to figure out if what he's saying is like the truth. Sure, go ahead and m m make an insight to the check. Okay. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Warforged in general are kind of hard to read, uh, and this one has given you very little to make a guess as to their truthfulness or not mm -hmm. as far as you can tell you can't detect any signs of untruthfulness but he, he hasn't really spoken a ton so yeah smegwick seeing like these guys are basically dog like a dog with a bone uh he sees like well <sighs> only one way to do this is like give it give it the old sales pitch we understand that of course that you are well well equipped and well uh well employed across uh, across the, oh, yeah all, all sky well and we do understand that you and you do say and we respect your statement that you have all the personnel you are currently looking for however with no as you well know it takes talent to recognize talent and we simply wish you know he that again, those of the El Mirage's escapade have been what across the veil trying to say however you cannot join I'm not going to go into the specifics, but quite simply, this isn't how we go through hiring. We have a very specific process. It takes a, we have a long onboarding process. We don't have the time to do it, nor do we have the facilities. This is here to deal with it. So no, we're not looking for help. Thank you. We appreciate the, 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 the offer. If you have any goods you'd like to attempt to sell us, we have the vast majority of what we need, but I'm willing to listen to an offer. Got several maps from beyond here, but other than that, you seem to not care. Maps. And you see his interest peaked. Where specifically are these maps? Uh, Z said that you're a cartographer of some sort? Oh, the best! <laughs> More of a more of a job. I, I dabble mainly in. Oh, ideology. don't don't be modest, Zarya. But I've been on a fair number of trips. Uh, you mentioned archaeology. Have you uh, have you been on any digs recently? His no. entire mannerisms has changed. He is dead mm. set on Zarya. I mean, quite a few. I mean, they just hired me recently and. We just got back from an expedition, but... Where'd you go? Oh, uh... About 
I don't know, a month east. Really? Into the southern outlands? Did you guys find anything? I would be very, we did. very interested in anything you might have found out there. If you have any maps you could sell to me, I would be willing to pay very handsomely. Can I do an insight check to see if his intentions are good? Uh, sure. Could I try another one? Sure. All right. Uh, it's worse. Ten. Twenty-two? Yeah. Uh, so oh. Aoi, uh, again, reading him is like reading a wall at this point. Rosarian, good is a relative term. Uh, as far as what you're getting for, for, from him, uh, you're getting kind of a predatory, like the questions he's asking are almost predatory in nature. He is hunting for something specific, which All does right. make you a little bit uneasy. Smegwick will relay an image through Spitwit to Zarian, where it's just basically the island giant windmill X with a question mark next to it. So the expedition I went on recently, uh, well, we actually, I actually found, I, I don't want to be presumptuous, but someone of your kind buried in a deep below the ground. Warforged in... In the sovereignty, we're we're n native to uh, uh, we're we're n n native to the, the plane of fire. Was why it was weird. That that is very b b b bizarre. That same place is where I kind of were they alive oh. or w was it a c c corpse? That's the. Funny thing, the second I made contact with my pickaxe, he seemed to like awaken. That's not how warforges work. Uh, I yeah. know in the sovereignty you guys don't deal with us a whole lot, but we're not we're not robots. We, oh, I know, uh, I, I can tell, and I'll point to Gerald. Yeah, and he seems really creeped out. We we don't just turn on and off. We have a core. It's our life force. It's always on. So whatever you found, it it, it, it wasn't a war force if it just turned on. Okay? So. That's not even the, the weirdest part. I, I was there with uh, some co-workers, if you will, and one of them made contact with this bizarre gem, and the next thing I know, he was gone. As in, not there, no dust, not like a corpse or anything, just gone. He taps his shoulder again. Recorder. And a few seconds later, uh, a person comes in with uh, a relatively large uh, amount of uh, paper. And just immediately goes over to the table, sits down, and just looks up. What exactly did the gem look like? Describe it in the best detail you can. Uh, it's in my backstory, but I will describe it verbatim, the uh, large red crystal. Interesting. And you said as soon as this person grabbed onto it, they disappeared. Yeah, trying to figure out what happened because I, and I'll point to Gerald, I kind of modeled him after that guy as a, hey, have you seen me kind of thing. Fascinating. We don't hire additional crew members or anything like that, but every so often we um, we do take on guests. If you'd like, uh, maybe uh, Maybe you could, could, could come with us. On an expedition? Um, you know what? Uh, I'd like to have a conversation just with uh, Zarian here. If, if, if you all would uh, like, um, we actually have we have a chow hall that is just down the street. It's got amazing food. Um, if you want, and again, he taps on uh, his sh sh shoulder guard. 
uh, if you want, and again, another person comes in, if you want to just to, to take them to the Chichu Chow Hall, um, they'll, they'll feed you. It'll be the best food that you've had in, in weeks, months, maybe years. Um, Smegwick would be a little Cesarean like if you're wanting to insist they like if you're insisting he stays like yeah it'll be fine you're gonna have to say something they ain't gonna listen to us I mean they're kind of my crew if they're allowed to stay by all means but I prefer to have this conversation just between you and me like I said they'll be treated fine and uh, as, as, as soon as you're ready uh, to, 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 to go they can cook it, come back and get you. All right? Now, I want to do an insight going, like, is this guy generally going to have a conversation, or, we, or is this guy trying to get, like, Go ahead. Zarian's going to try to conscript him? Don't really have good insight. Let's try. <laughs> of course. Can't get a read on him. I, I, again, uh, the term stone-faced uh, is remarkably ironic in this, this is situation. For those of you wondering, I rolled a two. Uh. So what do you guys will, will want to... What do you guys want to, to do? I don't think there's much of a choice for the rest of us, so I think we follow the guard. Should we have him, like, uh... Does he have any way of uh, letting us know if uh, he, uh, like, runs into trouble or something? I don't know if you still have that maintained, though. Remember, you, you used to do the two, the, uh, the, uh, the two, the two cans. Yeah, you, uh... I would have one, and Reggie would have the other one. Oh, yes. Sending mugs. Yes. Okay. Good luck. All right, so go ahead, enjoy it. Uh, I recommend the Peppa Prime Rib. It is phenomenal. Uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> so. And a wave. The rest of you are are to take it out uh, and take into what effectively looks like a cafeteria. Oh, yeah. Uh, Zarian, uh, as you uh, uh, g g get there, uh, he goes to uh, the uh, recorder. Is is what he uh, said uh, b b beforehand, uh, and he just kind of nods to her, and you watch as she starts drawing arcane sigils on the paper and as she does you watch as the arcane sigils themselves start to kind of float off and they go to each corner of the room and you feel the presence of m -m -m magic and uh, he uh, looks at you and goes anti-scrying just to make sure that we're uh, we're the only ones hearing this conversation so, um, where exactly were you when you found this gem? If, uh, if I was to show you a map, you think you could, you could show me where on the map it might have been? Was it in the Southern Outlands? I mean, I had a photogenic memory my whole life, so more than likely. Fantastic. Why don't you could come over here? Uh, and as he could comes over, uh, you look at the map, and looking directly at the map, it is entirely blurry. Uh, small illusion spell. Make sure that people that aren't supposed to see this uh, don't get to. Uh, if you don't mind, just going to tap you on the shoulder, give you the ability to see it, okay? All right. Taps you on the shoulder, and you feel magic take effect. Your eyes focus, and you see a map of the Southern Outlands. A map incredibly detailed with islands you've never heard of uh, going out further than any ship you think has ever been capable of going into the outlands and it is very very d d detailed wow this is incredible 
it's taken a long time to get this. So, uh, roughly, where would you say on here you uh, you found this gem? I will point where I found the gem, not where I found the that village. I'm not going to okay. divulge that at all. You would notice the village uh, is not on the map. There is okay. stuff all around it, but where the village, the island where it would be, is just not that it's there. Yeah, I would point to the where I found those ruins. Catalot. Interesting. We haven't found anything there. That is fascinating. And this is where you found your um, Warforge friend. Yeah, unfortunately, he, uh, on our trip back, he kind of, uh, he's not, he wasn't the brightest, and he saw something overboard and kind of fell in. Sorry to hear that. Um, there are things that happen in the Southern Outland that cause issues with memory. You wouldn't mind, I'm going to just very quickly cast an enchantment spell on you to engage your memory a little bit better. Help you to remember absolutely everything. Things that might have been suppressed by magic. Is that okay? Uh, when he says this, can I actively, with my how I, my brain works, mm -hmm. could I try and suppress anything and everything about the village? Uh, I mean, yeah. The the spell he's describing uh, is the spell Modify Memory, which can be used to remove memories, but can also be used to heighten your ability to remember things. So. Uh, would I would I know if he was able to read my mind with that spell? Modify Memory does not uh, give you the ability to read someone's mind. Okay. It gives you the ability to literally modify their m m memory. And it is uh, a concentration spell, so they wouldn't be able to use telepathy and modify memory at the yeah. same time. All right, well, uh, be careful. It's kind of my best asset, if you know what I mean. Not a p -p problem. And uh, he speaks some words and uh, touches you on the, t the temple, and your memory itself becomes significantly more of a vivid. Everything seems more, uh, it, it almost seems like you're there. Anytime you just casually think about something, you are taken back to that time and almost inhabit the m -m memory. He goes, uh, and as you're doing this, he goes, I want you to think about when you were in those ruins and you found the stone. What did it feel like in the room? Very dark. Couldn't see anything without any light. Okay. What about the air? Did it feel, did it different? Was there a static electricity kind of feel to it? Did it feel damp? Um, I mean, Zarian would probably know, but was there? Um, from what you can remember, there, uh, the, the gem itself was magical, and so it did kind of give off that feeling of, of m powerful magic energy so it kind of has like a static charge to the air almost you can you can feel the m the power of the m m magic so. that's what i'll describe when you picked up the gem did you hear a voice i didn't but as cause... you say that you instantly stop because now, for some odd reason, you remember hearing a voice. You didn't remember this b -b -b before. Can I do a kind of check to know if he's planting this memory or sure. if this is one I actually have? Uh, I'll let you choose uh, intelligence history uh, uh, or, or, or uh, uh, arcana. And they're the same, so uh, 30, 20. 20. Okay. You're not 100% certain, but it doesn't feel like he's modifying 
okay. your memory. It feels like you were remembering something that was suppressed. I mean, now that you mention it. So I thought. What did the voice say? What did it say, Jody? <laughs> gibberish. Sorry. Uh, uh, gibberish. Pure, pure g gibberish. I, I couldn't understand it if it was a language. Can you repeat it for, for me? I can certainly try. Okay. And combination of your eidetic memory and the, the spell, you start speaking this gibberish. And as you start speaking it, the room gets darker. It starts to get a little bit colder. You feel kind of a weight around you. I don't have the right song here. There we go. Sorry, I had to get the right song. The room itself gets darker. You feel this kind of weight. Uh, as it starts to happen, your initial reaction is to stop speaking, but you can't. The words are now coming unbidden. There is a syntax to them that doesn't make sense, but it's obviously that they're there. And as you say more of them, you start feeling a wind kind of pick up. The pages that the recorder is writing on start to ruffle. You watch them just kind of hold them down and kick a keep writing. The map itself doesn't move a centimeter, but everything else around it is kind of flapping in the wind. You're seeing pages start going f -f flying and different maps going everywhere, and yet you still can't stop speaking. You start to feel this really cold sensation in the center of your ch -ch chest. It keeps growing larger and larger. You're tips of your fingers and toes start to go numb with cold. The tip of your nose starts to feel hard, like you're outside in a winter storm. Your lungs start to burn a little bit uh, as you just continue speaking longer and longer and longer. And then at the end of the statement, everything stops. The wind stops and goes back to normal. He looks over to the, 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 the uh, recorder. Says, did you get all that? They nod. Good. Uh, make me a wisdom save, Zirian. I'm using that inspiration that it says I have because I don't like this rule. I don't think it matters. Uh, 13. Can, can you flash a genius yourself? Can I? I uh, think so, but... Well, an 18 wouldn't do it either. Ah, crap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, as, uh, uh, as you sit there, you kind of blink for a second. And the next thing you know, it goes, Well, thanks. I really ap appreciate it. Uh, sounds like... Uh, Sounds like you were really good at your job. Unfortunately, I I, I don't think we really uh, need you, but I, I appreciate you coming down here. Son of a bitch. So, uh, thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. And all you remember of the uh, p -p previous conversation is you came in, you described the gem, uh, and then he went, hey, thanks. And uh, he shows you out the d -d door. No! Do I still remember being able to see the map? Uh, you don't. Your memory, you never looked at the map. You just described the gem. Mm. Uh, I'm going to just make my way towards the cafeteria then. Okay. Uh, the rest of you, as you sat down, they brought you over something that appeared to be meat. Something that appeared to be a starch of some kind. Great food, my ass. 
and something that looks similar to a pudding, but you're not quite sure what has been put into the pudding. How can you tell the difference between the brown stuff and the gray stuff? <laughs> you can't. That's what's so great about it. Enjoy. Can I do a general perception check to see if I can get a general idea of, like, the people that are in the room with us? Do sure. they seem to be other villagers or people that are part of this crew? No perception check needed for that. Uh, these are all oh. similar. Uh, they're all part of this unnamed group. There there are no uh, non-members of this group anywhere. Do we see any chefs? Uh, yeah, there, uh, you're effectively in a cafeteria, so there's a bunch of tables with chairs, and then at one side there is kind of a, a, a cafeteria line where you see different foods in effectively warming trays, uh, and there's a small kitchen behind it, and there is a, a large rotund gentleman back there that spoons out all the f -f food. There's no uh, place to pay for uh, anything. There's no place to collect coins or any th -th thing, so it seems that anyone that eats here does so for free of charge. I don't think they could pay people to eat here. This is... So this is clearly some kind of mess hall or something for everyone who works for these people, but not for the villagers themselves. As you say that, you see Zarian start wandering in. I just no. kind of like... You okay? So, where are we off to? You guys a job ready, huh? Uh, really quick, Jody. Mm -hmm. Uh, would this feel similar to when I was on the island? How I'm feeling currently? Um, not really, because on the island you would you would be aware that you were missing memories. This, uh, the yeah. the whole aspect of the the spell is you don't know that it happened <laughs> if it succeeds. So, to your knowledge, you win in. He asked you a couple questions about the, the crystal. You described the crystal. You went, hmm, interesting. And then he thanked you, and you left. That was that was the entirety of the Kika conversation. He Photoshop edited out the scene where he... Yeah. Yes. Did the words. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I don't know why you guys couldn't be there. It was really just me describing a gem I found underground. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, uh, you all kind of see people uh, kind of stand up and everyone just starts leaving the room. Oh, that's a freaking coincidence. Mm, that's weird. Oh, that is a little too freaky for me. Yeah. All at once. Zarian, is he taking us on? Weird question, Jody. Mm -hmm. But would Gerald know what happened? Like, would he be able to, would he know that I'm not remembering everything properly? Um. Let me look up the specifics. I'm, I'm actually going to look up the spell and see if it, it. I think you have to, is he, is he intelligent? Yeah, uh, well, four, Theoretically, but... this, this, go ahead and, and, and make a, uh, I, I didn't think that Gerald would be, or I forgot that Gerald was in there. Uh, Percival wouldn't. Uh, so, 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 um, go ahead and m m m make, uh, a wisdom save for J J Gerald. Darn it! Oh, great. Oh, sure, he gets the nat 20. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> uh, what is his bonus? It's a 20, flat 20. Um, how would that work? I've got a... Uh... Because he is a construct I created, so it's it's weird. He obeys my commands. He understands languages I speak. But he can't talk, right? Yeah, no, he can't talk. I am, um, without going into too many details, uh, I think probably what would have happened would have been, effectively, they would have created an anti-magic field around him, which would Die. shut him off oh. long enough for him to cast the spell on you. Okay. Which, for his memory, would just be, there is a spell cast, 
and then there wasn't, and it would it would have been like he blinked. Darn it! So I'm glad you b- b- brought that up, because uh, I completely forgot that he was the, the there. But effectively, uh, it didn't without, matter. Again, well, effectively, this is not the first time they have done this, and so they are very. They're very used to having to deal with the things, so they they would have had plans for that particular instance, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't I don't want to railroad or anything like that, but these people are incredibly smart, so yeah. that would have been yeah, no, something they planned for. So, as you guys are sitting there, you see uh, uh, a single person come in and goes over to the person there says something that you guys can't really overhear and then he just puts his stuff down and the cook leaves as well. Can I see what direction they're heading? Is it towards the room I just came from or out uh, of well, the... Well, you're in a big room and they just left out of the only door that leads out of the oh. room. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That That's kind of weird timing, but yeah, I just told him about a gem I found where when I found Lucky, really. Mm-hmm. And that's all that happened, and now you came back? Yeah. With a job offer? No, he didn't really offer me a job. The friggin'... Yeah. I don't know why you guys had to leave for that. That was kind of weird. Like, maybe he was expecting me to say something more personal, I guess. I, I don't know. Mm. There's no way... St- this is like... Smegwick's own conclusion is just like... That none of this syncs up. <laughs> and yeah. something, something happened. Would any of us try to uh, uh, think that 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 it sounds way too fishy? It seems weird, but uh, I, I, again, the interactions that you've had with this guy are very similar to the interaction that Z had. He listened to, to, to him and then he sent him off. And then with you guys, he listened to what you had to say, he cut you off, and then he sent you off. And from what Zarian's described, he listened to what Zarian had to say, and then sent him off. So it, it's following More the, the same. So. I mean, well, that ex- except for the fact that he said he was going to talk to Zarian, and then we were going to yeah, have a that, possible job opportunity, and now we don't. And all Zarian did was tell him about the experience he had. And now we don't have a job opportunity. Yeah, so that's that's the only weird thing above about it. But all of you had dealt with jobs falling through. Like that is that is not an uncommon to the thing. True, the but the whole thing so. about it being a private conversation. Yep. I, 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 again, it it seems a I little mean, bit weird, but I couldn't have been gone that long. I had to have been like five minutes tops. How long was I in there for? Well, I mean, long enough for us to get served this crap. Roughly, the uh, the spell that he used didn't remove any time. It just changed the topic of conversation. So your your recollection Re- of yeah. time is identical. Re-edited. Well, I mean, we're essentially all alone in this room now. What time is it? Uh, exactly two forty-seven. No. <laughs> At this point, uh, it's closer to three, uh, let's say 3.52. Okay. Still got three hours. I mean, I'm, I, I can't be the only one that's weirded out by the fact that I come out and then it literally oh, everyone... Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to know what's going on. Yeah. But, yeah, none of us know what's going on. There's no point of staying here. We might as well leave. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm. St- I do have to agree. Let's move on and just get out of this place. As you guys open the door, you can see tons of people, kind of jogging down uh, the uh, the hallway. Uh, there is massive amounts of m- 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 movement. Sorry, you uh, had a discussion about a gem, and now they're all this place is acting yeah, like it's all all hands on deck. That is weird. I'm wondering the if we're gonna see gem? a max exodus all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to tell you. I just 
all that happened. So what would you guys like? Yeah. You're currently in a doorway watching people basically march uh, away. I follow them? Should we? Yeah, uh, but let's hang, let's hang back a bit. Let's not attract any attention. Yeah, obviously. I'm, I hate to break it to you. I'll point to Gerald. I think he stands out like a sore thumb. Uh, yeah, that. Well, they're all rushing by. Do we pick up? Do we pick anyone saying up anything like around a corner or anything as we're making our way? Like, well, I guess we're walking around. Jody, mm -hmm. uh, sorry. Do we, as we're like, what well, we're kind of meandering around here? Do we hear anyone say anything like around a corner or anything before oh, they no come inside of us? No one's currently speaking at all. Uh, Smegwick, you yourself, this would be a slightly familiar situation to you. Uh, this this looks like uh, a like a battalion or something uh, has just gotten orders and uh, is shipping out. Mm. These guys are leaving. Mm. Wonder where they're going. Mm. I you think we might don't... easily. The very last thing you did was talk about a gem before these guys got fired up. Yeah, it seems what would we know if the two events were maybe connected? It's technically impossible to know without physically yeah. asking whoever made the de de decision. Yeah, and I, uh, first of all, I'm getting. Give us, uh, anything. Zarian, did you happen to tell them where you found the gem? I don't think I would remember telling him where, right? No. But when he mentions the gem, would I remember? Would I still remember the place that I found it in? Or you is that remember gone? where you found it? You do not okay. remember telling uh, Percival where you found it. Again, according to the yeah your memory, you just talked about it. And you never yeah, I'm just trying to get that. the specifics. Yep. I mean, I didn't tell him. I mean, I still know where it's at, but if that's what's so important to him. You had a very private conversation with him. You didn't tell him nothing, and this place is acting like a a, a hill of fire ants has got yeah. kicked into order. Yeah. I... Something clearly happened. Something yeah. definitely happened that caused all this. And you oh. don't remember saying anything. Yeah. No, I remember exactly what I said in there. I just mentioned the gem. He thanked me, and I left. All right, well, we need to leave. Whatever's going on here, that clearly not using us, and they clearly are not interested in us, and I don't think it's going to be... In anyone's best interest to get in their faces about it. As you kind of continue this conversation, you notice that the, the hallway now uh, has almost completely emptied out. Uh, and you can hear kind of footsteps going away, but in the place you are is now effectively empty. Well, we got like two hours left. We might as well make our way back to the ship. I'm sure our rations are delivered by now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you wherever didn't these mention... You didn't mention the um, other place, did you? No, I mean, I clearly saw a giant red X, so. I wouldn't mention that place even if they, I don't know, had a knife to my throat. I wonder if they might need it. Well, wherever these know, people are heading, well, wherever these people are heading, I say we go in the complete opposite direction. Hmm. I'll wait until... Well, you said we're pretty much empty, but I mean... If they're after this gem, I know where it's at, and they don't, so at least we got we got that advantage, right? Okay. They seem to know exactly where to go if they're getting these kind of... If they're getting these kind of... I mean, they're not just going to be yeah. rushing out off to nowhere. Yeah, they're I mean, rushing somewhere as a group. You know at this point how my brain works. I don't really forget things. Yeah. So. We're walking and talking. 
Okay. Yeah. Are you guys heading for the to the dock? Yeah, I think so, because I don't think okay. we have anything else to do. Right. Yeah. So as you guys uh, get, get to the dock, you can see, again, tons of people are going into the dock. No one is coming out of the dock. And there are guards posted, uh, this time half a dozen guards posted at the dock. As they get there, one of them comes up and goes, Very sorry, uh, you can't enter the docks right now. Oh, I mean, ship is like there. An and hour oh, it's left on our... perfectly fine. Uh, don't worry about uh, docking fees. Uh, whoever decides to take over the dock after we're gone, he'll deal with all that. But uh, you're paid up through the day as far as we're concerned. Oh, no, no, no. You misunderstand. Oh, Good, so we're, we're looking to leave. Oh, sorry. Your ship's landlocked. Not until the rest of us are gone. Can I, look, can I see our ship from where we are? Uh, from where you are, no. Uh, the uh, the doorway uh, uh, doesn't look onto that part of the Dida dock, and you're you're still outside the Dida docks. So, all right, all right, thank you. Uh, and I'll start pulling the group uh, out of this guy's ear. Hey, uh, if it's uh, any consolation, we should be gone in about twenty minutes. We've uh, we've gotten this down to a bit of a science. So um. don't worry. We just if we have other people going in mucking about things like that, it's it's going to cause problems. Is all it is. Uh, so as soon as we're gone, you have your ship back. It'll be perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. You guys are... Um, thank you. So Water. you guys, so you guys are leaving. Aye. Right. The entire operation. Yep. Just looks at Zarian. I'll uh, start pulling the group back, so that he can't hear us. Mm -hmm. I think you need to uh, send your little buddy and check on our ship in case they're trying to steal something from our ship. Oh, good idea. I can make I, him invisible. If you can make him invisible, yes. Alright, I'll pull us behind a building and I will put invisibility on Spitwick. Uh, Zarian, you would be aware uh, as just even with the kind of laid back aspect of uh, uh, the Skywell, uh, the docks would still be a secured area and yeah, okay. They would have runes that detect invisibility okay. spells and it. things like that. Uh, Are there any it's, it's a it's a normal yeah. kind of uh, security thing, like cameras would be in in our world. Uh, Are there any windows that look into the docks that we could see from the outside, or no? Uh, if if you look around far enough, you probably could find one. We see our ship through the window. Take you five minutes. Yeah, All right, you can see your ship. No one's going anywhere near it. All right, All I'm just going to watch it like a hawk. Sure. All the other ships uh, 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 are getting crew and, and, and supplies and everything put, put onto them, but your ship seems to be completely ignored. And the gonna... majority of, like, the guards going in to, uh, like, one ship or is, are, like, uh, uh, is it all equal? There were five docks, uh, and four of them all had effectively the same kind of ship. Uh, and they're kind of splitting off evenly between those four okay. at this dock. Again, there are other docks oh. in the place, but this particular one, uh, they, they seem to be filling, for the most part, pretty evenly on every ship but yours. Hmm. Well, it's... Uh... I'll know a direction when they're sailing. If they're going towards what I said, then... Okay. So, uh, uh, within, again, within the next 20 minutes, all four of the remaining ships go off. And from the conversations you've heard from the non... Uh, I, I mean, the best word to use is the civilian population here. Mm -hmm. uh, the same is true of every other d -d dock. Is all the ships left? Um... The other kind of whispers you've heard is all the shops that they purchased, they just left. They didn't close the shop. They didn't pack up anything. Just like the cafeteria, they literally just left everything where it was and got on their ships in the little left. Do I see what direction they're heading? Uh, from what you can t -t tell when you finally can get to uh, a place where you can see outside the, the docks, it looks like they're heading towards the f -f flotilla. Like what? What cardinal direction is that? Uh, that's uh, that's in the northwest. Um, is that, with my memory, is that basically the direction of the location of this gem? No, uh, it would be okay. to the south. But it's, 
again, it's really common. Yeah. If they're all going to go as one, they would meet up with their flotilla, and then the flotilla itself would go. But the mm. flotilla is far enough away that you can't really see it from this as a sky Hmm. Well, I don't know what to tell you, unless something happened that I'm not aware of. That would be news to me. But if they're leaving after I said something about a red crystal, I can lead us there. Okay. Um, not that I'm not deeply concerned about what may or may not have happened to you while you were all alone with a very well-funded black bag operation. Why would we want to go there? I don't know. You you were the one that mentioned uh, that they seem to be leaving after I mentioned that, so... Uh, I Got a point. No, I'm saying, why would we go there? To, to, are we on a treasure hunt now? I don't know. Where else are we going to go? Well, I, the I'll leave that to you guys. For us to find work, I'm just saying. I mean... I'll leave it up to you guys. I'm going to be on the ship if you need me making sure all my stuff is still there. Yeah, we need to go to the ship. I don't... From what you were saying, it didn't look like they were leaving our stuff, but I'm, I am going to suggest that we all go over our things with a fine-tooth comb. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And, yeah, and make sure uh, everyone else is uh, safe and possibly like... We all remember the air Nazis. We all remember the air Nazis. Mm. So, as you guys go through... Your, your ship seems to have been unto the touched as far as you can tell. Had the, I would presume the rations would be delivered. Uh, yeah. You, you guys have all the stuff that you, you ordered. You notice that your, uh, uh, your passengers are no longer there. Uh, like they were told they would be. Yeah, they, they obviously have, 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 have gone off. Uh, you, you saw a couple of them uh, as you were coming back to the ship just going, oh, thank you, and then they, they went off. So it's not like they vanished. Yeah. Okay. You do you do hear a few whispers from people kind of wondering what happens to the Skywell Nina now because mm -hmm. a massive basically a massive number of shopkeepers just up and left without doing anything. So there are a ton uh -huh. of businesses that simply don't exist anymore. Oh, that is a problem. I think oh. word. I think when word gets out that there's suddenly a massive uh, real estate opening at Skywell, that it'll probably be slow going at first. But the so people that saying, are here, the people that are here, will get along fine. Well, you're saying you're looking for work. I see a lot of places hiring now. It's a setup shop. There's no business here, though. It's a joke. Relax. Okay. Tell me to relax. We we just went through all this. Well, with uh, that, that is where we are going to end it for tonight. As always, if you enjoyed this, uh, I do upload all of these to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash trainer Jody. Uh, feel free to check them out there. Otherwise, again, that is all for me today, and I will see you guys next time. All right? Bye-bye.